All right, this is the last one in 9.4 that we'll take a look at. Um, this is a lot like the coin problem or the seeding problem uh, that we looked at previously. Um, it says this person, Bethany, is working two jobs uh, to get a total of 33 hours. And then it says, how many hours did she work at each job? Okay, so I'm going to uh, let X equal hours for... Um, the job that pays 570 and then let y equal hours for the job that pays seven dollars all right well we know uh, first off if we write an equation that talks about the hours we know that the hours plus the hours have to equal the total hours of 33 okay and then similar to the coin and the seeding problem, we're going to incorporate the value or the money now. We have this job pays $5.70 an hour. The second job pays $7 an hour. And the total money that was made from both jobs was $211.50. Okay. And you can see, again, this is nicely set up for us to use the matrix. If you're going uh, maybe further in mathematics and you want to practice one of the other methods of solving, feel free, but I'm just showing for, for time-wise for these videos um, how to use the matrix. So, um, 7 and 2, 11, 5. Okay. And once I uh, run ref here on my TI-84, I'll get my familiar 1, 0, 0, one and I get 15 and 18 and you notice that those total those do total 33 okay this is hours at 570 and this is hours at um, seven dollars so a uh, little more descriptors on the note packets that I prepared for you, but hopefully uh, watching me work these out has been helpful um, if you are stuck on a few of these. So keep practicing. 9.5 is next where we have some more applications with mixtures and um, interest problems. Okay, thank you.